Hello everyone, Cobrinha. Today I'm gonna show you a choke. I used this choke since I was a blue belt. And you can use this one as a white belt all the way to a black belt. I still, these days, catch a lot of people with this choke. Cross choke from the Z guard. Left hand goes as deep as I can first. Right hand goes to his wrist. The reason why I'm grabbing his wrist is because to not let my coat to grab my collar. If he grabs my collar, it's a problem for me. So that's the reason why I keep his wrist. That's one thing. If my koto keeps trying, pushing towards me, and another reason I keep the wrist because we can transfer this one into a Kimura as well. But today we're going to do the choke. I'm just showing you the reason why I grab his wrist. Now what I'm going to do here, my coat's putting a lot of pressure over me. Remember I have the knee shield, the Z guard. I push my coat a bit to create a space. This hand goes over the top, reaching. And here, this grip, it doesn't have to be perfect underneath like so here with my thumb. So I'm grabbing over. Once I grab over, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to lock the elbow. Cobrinha, while you're locking the elbow, my koto can get his arm all the way, the other way, my koto, here, there, onto your forehead. Forehead, right here, my koto. Right here, right here. There. And if my koto gets his hand to his forehead, stay there, my koto. I'm going to try to squeeze. I can't. That's the defense for my koto. And that's the reason why I'm going to show you. I, when I grab it, I lock my elbows. Go ahead, Makoto. Try. Try Makoto. Try. Try Makoto. Try Makoto. No, he can't. And he will tap. Yeah? So that's the first one. Second option over here, what's going to happen is Makoto's going to use his hand over me here, Makoto. Over. Now push. And sometimes I'll go back here, Makoto. Push on my face a little bit here, Makoto. On my face. There. See, he's pushing my face. Well, what I do now next, I push Makoto. Make him knee. Go back one more time, Makoto, please. This side here, Julia, please. So Makoto is pushing me, yeah? Right on my face. So what I'll do here, my shield push and my right leg bring my heel towards my hip like so now his knee goes to the man and i have the choke some people like to do like so it's fine as well if you throw the leg over it's fine yeah i like to keep the knee shield i do both but i like to keep the knee shield because when my koto start moving back go ahead my koto i push him and look to the side here julia please the other side here so one more time my koto I push my koto and enter the butterfly hook. Now, when I enter the butterfly hook, it's important for us to understand one thing here. If I stay square here, yeah, I can squeeze my koto with tap, but also my koto can push, push my koto, and he'll be able to straighten my arms. Why? Because of my angle. Look at this. Now, once I get the hook, what I do, I shift my hips to the side. Now, my koto, try to push. No, he can't. That's the reason why. And one thing here, you know, the last part for this choke over here, pay close attention to my hooks. Left hook, I'm pulling towards me. My left hook, I'm pulling. Right hook, I'm holding my koto, pushing a bit to my right side. Cobrinha, why? Why am I doing this? It's important to understand. My koto can't move back. Move back, my koto. No, he's going to tap. My koto, move forward right here, Julia. Watch here, watch here. He moves. He tries to move forward. Forward, push, push forward. I'll choke him as well. This is a choke I used since I was a blue belt. And of course, we modified it and we took it to the next level. You can use it as a white belt all the way to the black belt. You're gonna catch a lot of people. Leave the comment below how many people you tap with this choke.